Hey everyone! Welcome back to my vlog. Today we are in one of the most vibrant and culturally rich cities in the United States, Chicago. In this video, I'll be taking you on a tour of the best places to visit in Chicago. Let's get started. Navy Pier. Our first stop is Navy Pier, a top tourist destination in Chicago. This 3,300-foot-long pier has something for everyone. From amusement park rides to shopping and dining, Navy Pier is a must-visit spot. You can take a ride on the Ferris Wheel, which offers a breathtaking view of Lake Michigan and the Chicago skyline. Museum Campus Next, we're headed to Museum Campus, a beautiful park located on the shores of Lake Michigan. Museum Campus is home to three of the best museums in Chicago, the Field Museum, the Shedd Aquarium, and the Adler Planetarium. Each museum offers a unique experience, and you can easily spend an entire day exploring them. Art Institute of Chicago The Art Institute of Chicago is one of the oldest and largest art museums in the United States. The museum has an extensive collection of American art, European art, and contemporary art. If you're an art lover, this is a must-visit spot in Chicago. Chicago Riverwalk Now, let's head to the Chicago Riverwalk, a beautiful pedestrian path that runs along the Chicago River. The Riverwalk offers stunning views of the city's architecture, and there are plenty of restaurants, bars, and shops along the way. You can even take a boat tour along the river and learn about the city's history. Cloud Gate No visit to Chicago is complete without a stop at Cloud Gate, also known as The Bean. This iconic sculpture is located in Millennium Park and is one of the most photographed spots in the city. The Bean offers a unique perspective of the city skyline and is a popular spot for selfies. Magnificent Mile our last stop is the Magnificent Mile, a premier shopping district in Chicago. The Magnificent Mile is home to high-end retailers like Neiman Marcus and Saks Fifth Avenue, as well as popular department stores like Nordstrom and Macy's. Even if you're not a big shopper, the Magnificent Mile is worth a visit for its stunning architecture and lively atmosphere. Foster Avenue Beach at Sunrise Tripping over bleary-eyed frat bros in YOLO wife beaters at Castaways isn't the only way to experience what Chicago beaches have to offer. There's beauty sprinkled liberally amidst its sand and sea, particularly around the lesser-visited beaches up north. And if you get up early enough, you might even see this. Lincoln Park at Sunset Lincoln Park, the neighborhood, on a Saturday night? not so beautiful, especially at one of these places. But Lincoln Park, the park, is always a great alternative, especially in the area around North Pond, the restaurant, which is pretty damn beautiful in its own right. Rockefeller Chapel at the University of Chicago. While it probably brings up painful memories of being forced to sit still in your chair while your tie is way too tight and you're missing the goddamn Bears game, the act of going to church is made much more palatable when said church is as beautiful as Rockefeller Chapel on the University of Chicago campus. City Hall Rooftop Garden Not too many beautiful things are going down beneath the roof of City Hall these days, unless you count Ronnie Wu Wu's awesome protest of Rahm Emanuel. But none of that matters 11 stories up, where 20,000 plants and more than 150 species make up the city's most famous rooftop garden. It's also good for the environment, which is a pretty beautiful cause. Pilsen's mural-filled blocks. Little Village is a great hood with some pretty damn great murals, but Pilsen's mural game is equally on point. Just stroll the hood and gems like this pop up in some pretty unexpected places like the side of a house, for example. Chicago Botanic Garden Islands in Chicago? Are you smoking the green again, thrillist? Well, maybe, but that's beside the point. Chicago Botanic Garden has got islands, nine of them, plus a date destination pretty much guaranteed to ensure some heavy petting under the trees. Buckingham Fountain Is Al Bundy beautiful? 
What about Peg Bundy's absurd haircut rivaling even that of the Donald? And what the hell ever happened to Bud Bundy? We don't know, these are deep life questions for another time. Ponder them over the beauty that is Buckingham Fountain. Just preferably not anywhere near the time Lollapalooza gets the face of Chicago shit-faced. The Bean's Reflection. When you're being mobbed by tourists and being asked to take some family from Missouri's photo for the twelfth time because little Kevin wasn't smiling in the last one, damn you, little Kevin. The Bean can seem like a less than beautiful place. But capture the sky's reflection on a sunny day with just the right amount of clouds, and it's a whole different story. Montrose Point. Do you like birds? Do you like walking serene trails through the woods? Do you like killer views of the beach and skyline? Yes, these are all beautiful things. And yes, they all exist at Montrose Point. The dock at Montrose Beach is also equally beautiful. Depending, of course, on who's on stage. Along the Chicago Riverwalk. Despite the totally subtle lettering on the tower named after a totally not small-handed presidential candidate, the Chicago Riverwalk is a beautiful yet somehow still pretty underrated way to spend your day. Millennium Park Lawn during a free concert. From strolling Maggie Daly Park to sipping drinks outside the park grill, there's no shortage of beauty in Millennium Park. The only thing that could possibly make it better? Free concerts on the lawn. Oh wait, they already have those. BTW, did you hear Wilco is playing this summer? Sky Chapel at Chicago Temple Building. Rising up 23 floors and 568 feet, this rooftop skyscraper church is home to the First United Methodist Church of Chicago and is reported to be the highest church building in the world. Which is a beautiful thing, no. Milton Lee Olive Park. Despite its dangerously close proximity to Navy Pier, one of Chicago's most underrated destinations is also one of its most beautiful, particularly the breathtaking view of the skyline over the lake and Ohio Street Beach. There's no shortage of beauty in Millennium Park. The only thing that could possibly make it better? Free concerts on the lawn. Oh wait, they already have those. BTW, did you hear Wilco is playing this summer? Sky Chapel at Chicago Temple Building. Rising up 23 floors and 568 feet, this rooftop skyscraper church is home to the First United Methodist Church of Chicago and is reported to be the highest church building in the world. Which is a beautiful thing, no. Milton Lee Olive Park. 